Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about bar graphs. At the end of this video, you must have interpreted data using bar graphs. What are bar graphs? Vertical or horizontal bars are used to illustrate frequencies are called bar graphs. Statistical data can be represented more accurately by the use of bar graphs. Let us have some examples. I have here a table. The number of absentees during the drama rehearsal. Based on the bar graph, we can conclude the following first. More students were absent during the drama rehearsal on Thursday. Next, the least number of students who were absent in the drama rehearsal were recorded during Wednesday. Third, there were many students who were present during the Wednesday's rehearsal. And last, there were 40 students who were absent during the drama rehearsal last week. There are other kinds of bar graph, and the first one is horizontal bar graph. We have here a table entitled Favorite Sports Among Grade 6 Students. We have the volleyball, tennis, basketball, soccer, swimming, and badminton. Based on the bar graph, we can interpret the following. Number 1, basketball is the most preferred sport among grade 6 students. Number 2, tennis is the least favored sport among the students. Third, there are 25 students who prefer volleyball. And fourth, soccer is the second least favorite sport among grade 6 students. And last, there are 125 students surveyed. Another kind of bar graph is a compound bar graph. I have here a table entitled Number of Grade 6 Students Who Failed in the First Periodic Mathematics Examination. We have the classes here, 6A, 6B, 6C, 6D, and 6E classes. The one in yellow ones are girls and the one in green ones are boys. Based on the compound bar graph, we can interpret the following. First, more girls failed in mathematics examination than boys in grade 6A, 6D, and 6E classes. Second, more boys failed in the mathematics examination than girls in grade 6B and 6C classes. Third, there are about 48 boys in all in the given five classes. And lastly, there are more girls who failed in the mathematics examination than boys. In constructing a bar graph, we should note the following points. First, the horizontal and vertical axis should be clearly labeled. Second, the scale should be shown clearly in the axis. Third, the bars drawn should be of the same width and should be spaced out evenly. And lastly, the bar graph should be given a title. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comments section. I have here a table entitled Favorite Mobile Applications of Grade 6 Students. We have the TikTok, Messenger, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. These are the questions. The first one is... What is the most favored mobile application? Second, how many more students prefer Facebook than TikTok? Third, how many more students like Messenger than Twitter? And lastly, what is the total number of students surveyed? Thank you for answering!
don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!